Well, it's lunchtime and uh, a good chance to talk to a mobile librarian, who's Ian. Uh, good afternoon to you, Ian. Afternoon, Ian. Driving a mobile library van, do you enjoy doing the job? Very much so. Enjoyable day. Meeting nice people, the customers are all lovely people. You get to drive around Aberdeenshire and this glorious autumn day. Now, for people who don't know about the mobile library service, what exactly does it offer? We carry a range of ordinary books in ordinary print, large print. We carry uh, audio books and DVDs, a wide range of stuff, nearly 3,000 items on board the van. 3,000 items? <laughs> Not such a big van either. No, but they're all there. <laughs> what do your clientele tend to be? Are they younger or older or what? The majority of customers are older. We also visit schools, playgroups and nurseries, so you have a, a wide range from children to mature adults, I'll call them. What about the sort of books do they like? Again, a wide range. A lot of people feature crime, a lot of people like the non-fiction, the books on crafts and hobbies, cooking. Just there's a wide range of choices for people and there's a wide range of people who take all kinds of books. Do you have to guess what people would like or is that your job or is, does somebody else do that? No, after, I know most of them quite well and I know what they like so I try to stock what they like and if I see a book coming back I know somebody will like I'll hold on to it for them. Now you help out in other ways as well do you not because uh, I saw you uh, handing out batteries. That's right, it's quite recently that we carry batteries for hearing aids for those that are registered with the NHS and then we carry a range of little batteries for their hearing aids. And the audio books, um, how do they work by the way? There's two different kinds. You have the DVDs, which you can play through your ordinary DVD player, and the MP3, which is a smaller version of the whole books, into the player. And all you need is a small battery and your headphones. And you can. the good thing of that is you can move about the house, you can go out in the garden listen to your book. What areas do you cover? All of Concarden and Deeside, Upper Deeside, right up to Bramar, and across the Strathdon, parts of Donside. Big area. How do people find out when the buses arrive? The, on the Aberdeenshire, Live Life Aberdeenshire website, the, the num where we stop and the times where we stop is available there. And you can look that up. Or if you go into any library, I'm sure they'll print off the, the timetable and the stopping places. Do for people you. look forward to you coming? I certainly do. It's, a, it's an important part in people's lives. and I enjoy meeting them and they enjoy meeting me, I hope. Well, I guess you do. Irene, tell us, why do you like the library? I just love spooks. I yeah, how long have you been reading? Oh, since I was a girl. <laughs> and I'm 90 now, so 91. Have you read all your life? You've always been keen always, on books? Always, yes. Always had books. I like detective books and I like um, stories with a family, a saga, you know, a good story. Uh, about families and things. The like, library bus is, is it important to you. Come oh, yes, in. it's really a lifeline to me because I don't sleep well and I like got to have my books and I read through the night and I, I don't read so much during the day because of other things to think about. <laughs> but um, I love my books. I? Really? So how long does it take you to read a book? Sometimes I can do it. It depends what size they are. Some of them are big. I, I love that. I like that. And Cleves, you know how she wrote the Vera ones and the uh, Shetland. She's writing a new one. She's got a new one out just now. And it's not in Shetland and it's not Vera. So it's something completely different. Order it for your next. For my next one. So I'll have to order that next time. Yes, I do like the detective ones if they're a good story behind them. I like the ones, too, that continue with the same inspector. So you value the library service very oh, much? Very much so. I'd be lost without it. And he brings them in for me. Not very good at the on the feet, so he... Um, the van's very, quite difficult. That's the only thing. The van's quite difficult to get into. But the service is fantastic. And I loved the ones even before Ian, you know. We had Vicky for a wee while and we had Gordon. Yeah. He was lovely. <laughs>